Again. Lefty, you're running this show. Okay, Chief. You boys got to open up at 2.50. Not a minute before, not a minute after. Sure. That's you know your job. You blast that clock. And don't take that silencer off of there just because you like to hear that thing rattle. On the getaway, you give the stuff to the deacon. You know your part. Yeah. And I went out to the hideaway with the boys' tape. Bring it over here tonight. You phone it. Yeah. You'd better bring it over. Now, if you boys do everything I told you to do, everything's gonna be fine as still. Okay, get going. to be here at 2.25. You know what to do then. Well, I'll uh, play the digging. Yeah. Get on his trail and don't let him lose you. Don't worry. They don't lose me. That's Lennox, the biggest shot in the underworld, they say. Isn't it thrilling? Hello, Mr. Lennox. How's tricks? Yes? Are you decent? Pretty near. Oh, come on, honey, you look all right. What's the best? Well, our number's up next, and we've got to time it perfectly if I'm to help out Silk. Jimmy, I don't like it. But there's nothing to it. Silk told me so himself. Just trying to throw a scare into a bunch of chiselers who've been holding him up. Please don't do it. But I gotta do it. Look how long we were out of work before Silk Lennox gave us a chance. Gosh, I gotta do him a favor if he wants it. But I'm scared of it. It's fooling the police. Why, it's wrong. Come on. Let's go.
You've heard of whistling in the dark. You've heard of moonlight dancing, too. But I found something that is lots more fun because it keeps me close to you. It's walking in the dark, happy as a lark, walking in the dark with you. Everything is rosy, night is even cozy, walking in the dark with you. Now I can hold your hand, oh gee, but in a grand, walking in the dark with you. I don't mind the weather. That's the new song and dance team. So picked up. Pretty good. Rain or shine, honey, I don't mind. Wait until the day is through. Cause I know that even time is gonna bring me love and you. Walking in the dark, strolling through the park. Now I just can't believe that it's true. Nothing short of heaven, round about eleven. Walking in the dark with you. Not on it, boy. Waiting. No one on me. Silk sending to the police. <laughs> you better tell the chief they're on their way upstairs. Yeah? Mr. Lennox, the inspector is on his way upstairs. Okay, send him right up. I suppose you think it's quite funny of me inviting you up here like this, but I got a purpose. Well, what is it? Well, uh, uh, did Mr. Kennedy explain to you? Uh, no, I thought you could explain it better. Oh. Yeah, what kind of a gag is this? Why, no gag. Uh, won't you have a cigar? Cigar? No smoke. Well, then you. No. Kennedy? Oh, <laughs> How about a drink? No drink. A uh, uh, drink for you? No. Kennedy? Never refuse. my club's had a bad reputation with the police for a long time, and I want to change all that. Well, it'll have to be a big change. Oh, now, I kind of thought that you'd see it my way. Come on now, Silk. What are you driving at? Why, nothing, but uh, I'm just remodeling and changing the policy of my club. Time. Oh, uh, excuse me, will you? Hello? Hello, Chief. Lefty wants to know about that new scenery. Is Lefty there? I want to speak to him. Yeah, Lefty's here now. Put him on. Hello, Chief. This is Lefty Coffin. Yeah, they just rung up from the warehouse about that scenery. I'm going down there with Spike and Dutch and get it. Maybe I'll take the deacon, too. Well, you need all the boys for that job. Oh, by the way, Lefty, I have company up here. Inspectors Swan and Bull. 
Don't you want to come up and say hello? I don't want to see them up. <laughs> Never mind coming up, Lefty. The inspector sends you their regards. Uh, what time did you say it was? It's, uh, 2.50. You ought to be back by 6. Okay, Chief. is the last night of the Club Royal, and tomorrow night is the opening of the new Club Arabian, with new faces, a new floor show, and a new policy. Yes, and run by the same old gang of crooks. Oh, now listen, let's... Go ahead with your Club Arabian, Lennox, but remember, I'll be watching you. Come on, Bull, let's get out of here. Don't worry, gentlemen. I'll remember. Well, that's over. What are you up to now, Silk? What you don't know, Kennedy. It won't hurt you. Thanks, Silk. You know anything the organization can do for you, why? You know. What are you talking about? The one turned off to the road back there. All right. Up street. We're go. Down. Okay. Just what's your name? My name's Carlson. Carlson. Then where do you live? Two wounded citizens, $50,000 gone, and you say we're stumped. Yes, sir, we're stumped. But you said it was one of Silk Lennox's jobs. I know it was a Silk Lennox job. There isn't another mob in this part of the country has the nerve. Then bring them in and we'll sweat it out of them. We can't sweat it out of that mob. We've tried it and you know how it is. The police bring them in, and in half an hour, their ward healer has a shyster mouthpiece waving a writ under her noses, and the courts uphold him. Well, that's the law. What we need is evidence, not suspicion. Evidence? That's it. Dozens of people saw the Lennox gang knock that bank over. 
How many of them are willing to come forward and identify? Not one. Not even one. Why are you so certain that Lennox pulled this job? Because Lennox had a pat alibi. That's his system. At the very minute the holdup was staged, Inspector Swan and myself were in his office. His ward healer, Kennedy, took us down there, and Lennox was giving us a cock and bull story about reform. There's hoodlums there. You don't mean Lennox personally took part in the run? Oh, no. He's the range. But his muscle men? Well, that's just it. Swan and I heard their voices over a dictaphone. At the moment, the robbery was being staged. That's not conclusive. Maybe not to you. But a jury considered a cast iron alibi. Stumped again. Unless you G men are willing to help us out. Well, we're willing to cooperate. In fact, we're already on the job. Good. Hello? Hello, is this your silk? This is Haskell. Say, so listen, I just got a tip, a hot one from headquarters. I'll be right over. No, 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 I can't tell you over the phone. It's too important. Yeah, I'll be right over. Okay, goodbye. I won't forget you for this, Slim. That's fine. I can use some cash. Good. Now, I tell you, Slim, you've got to watch your step from now on. The G-men are on the job. Ah, oh, those monkeys. What can they do? What can they do? Now, be yourself, Silk. What do you pay me for? <laughs> I sometimes wonder. You pay me to keep you out of trouble and to spring the boys. Now, I can handle the locals when the deal comes up. But when the government men step in, nothing to it. Silk, technicalities don't count with them. Oh, Haskell, pull yourself together. All right. Nice picture, Chief. What is it? It's about the digging. Wait a minute. Spam. Sure. What about the deacon? He's on the land, Chief. He bought a ticket to Shy. He's leaving Glendale at 11.45 tonight. Good work, Rafi. Get back on his trail. We'll be down to the station to see him off. Wait a minute. He's going around the corner. We'll get him through here. Someplace? Uh, well, hello, Lefty. Yeah, we know. Hi, Jake. I'll carry you. No, you don't. Horse. Horse silk. Get going. Yeah, we're going someplace. Yes, sir, boss. You're next, sir. Sir, shoe shine, sir? No. Get over there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> well, I thought I'd go out. Get in there. Shut up! <laughs> Got it? Yeah. <laughs> not here! They're not that boy. You... Get him, Dutch.
Hasn't got it, Chief. Like you told me to, Chief. Yeah, where? I trailed him to the express office where he slipped the dough to the agent. The agent placed the money in the vault. Then he went over to the railroad station and bought a ticket for Chicago. Then I landed back here. Oh, get out of here. He planted that dough in the express office vault. Come on, let's go over and torpedo the joint. Sure, that's it. Let's get going. No. That's out. But don't worry, boys. We're not going to lose that dough. But no more gun work now. Not after the bank job. I'm giving the deep of it. <laughs> Hello? What? The police? I'm telling you, I've got it straight. They're coming down to pick you up for bumping off Deacon Fetter. All right, now. Tell half of his friends. <laughs> no. Nothing to it. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> They're picking me up on account of the deacon. But they can't make a stick, Chief. Of course. The police. Sit down and act natural. Come in. I want to talk to the show. What's on your mind, Jimmy? So? I read in the paper that the Silk Lennox mob was suspected of that bank robbery. Oh. So the kid thinks we're a bunch of bank robbers, huh? What? Thank Robbins. <laughs> That's a funny one. What about the killing, Silk? Why, you don't think that we'd kill anyone, do you? Not me. I'm afraid of guns. I know. I wouldn't harm a fly. No, ah, we wouldn't harm a fly. So the little fellow thought he was getting in with a bunch of gang. Huh? You're not kidding me, Silk. Hey, hey. Please are coming up. Scram. Listen, little boy, if you and your girlfriend want to stay healthy, you keep your mouth shut. No, you wouldn't dare. Oh, I wouldn't, huh? Oh, hello, Inspector. Well, Lennox, I suppose you knew I was on the way up. What's the matter? Suspected again? We've got the goods on you this time, Lennox. Two eyewitnesses saw you kill the deacon. The deacon? Killed? <laughs> Who are you? Why, he's my new song and dance man. Oh, yes, I've heard him. Come on, Lennox. You'll excuse me, Captain, uh, while I get my hat. Better bring your toothbrush, too. You'll be there a long time. Yeah. I'll be back shortly. Don't worry, kid. I'll be back tomorrow night for the big show. What's the matter? Oh, nothing, I guess. What's wrong? I just saw Silk a while ago. He hasn't. We're not closed out. Closed us out? And him depending on you for the grand opening tomorrow night? Don't be silly. Silk's been pinched. I took him to jail. What? What for? Oh, 
nothing, nothing at all. Just a few murders and a bank robbery or two, but other than that, nothing at all. Oh. Yes, I, I, I told, told you so. so. shouldn't have taken Lennox's word. But, Nola, how could I know it was robbery and murder? I believed him until denied up there in his office. The way they looked, in that secret door. He pressed a button on his desk, and a secret door opened in the wall, and they went through it. When he got you to play that record, it was a bunch Duke said it was just an alibi, to scare some hijackers that were trying to hold him up. I'm going to keep that record. I'm going to take it home. But Nola, why did the police get it? That's just it. If Silk Lennox and his gang try to do anything to you, I'll give it to the police. Then where will their alibi be? Don't you let them scare you, Jimmy. <laughs> I'd just like to see them scare me. Lola, what if Silk asked for it? Tell him we have a safe. That he won't dare hurt you. Oh, come on. Hurry up. Hurry up and change. I'm almost ready to go. Come All on, right. dear. Thanks. talking about? He came in. It's gone. I know, no, I know that. Forget it. You're all right. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Pull yourself together. I'm scared. Oh, oh. Good morning, Chief. Take your head off. I don't believe I've met this gentleman. Never mind, you'll meet the gentleman soon enough. Lennox, we've got the dope on you, and you might as well open up. Chief, I'm an open book. Uh, what is it you want? Where were you last night at 11.45? I thought that you gentlemen always checked my alibis before you brought me in. Quit your stalling, Lennox. We've got two eyewitnesses who saw you kill the deacon. Gentlemen, under those circumstances, I must exercise my legal rights. 
Not to speak without advice of counsel. Oh, take him out. Now, as I told you, this lineup is for purpose of identification. If you recognize any man in the box, and remember, while you can see them, they cannot see you, mark his number on your card and raise your hand. All right, turn out your lights. Bring them on. They've got a couple of eyewitnesses against him on that railroad station shooting. Well, I wouldn't like to be in their boots. Hmm. That gang specializes in killing off eyewitnesses. Why do they kill off men like they do flies? What's your name? John Smith. Speak up. John Smith. Oh, uh, John Smith, eh? You're the 10th John Smith this morning. Take off your hat. Any numbers? All right. Next number. What's your name? All I got to say is that if those fellas identify Lennox... All right, next number. They better order their tombstone ahead of time. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Didn't you have a gun on you when you were picked up? All I had is a bottle. All right. Next number. Put on your hands. Take off your hat. What's your name? Who, me? Yes, you. John Smith. <laughs> Didn't you tell me a while ago your name was Fingers Farley? You told me. Any numbers? I know that man. All right, John Smith, alias Farley. Next number. Tough luck, pal. They can't keep me in here. Can the chatter, you two? What's your name? John Arthur Lennox. Well, gentlemen, do you recognize this man? Is he one of them that came into the washroom at the time of the killing? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, no. Nope. No, sir. No, sir. Uh, uh, that's that's quiet, please. Put your hands down and don't be so cheerful, Lennox. We've got other witnesses. <laughs> okay. Bring them on. <laughs> Take him out. Gentlemen, your own private room. Thanks, Mr. Funny Man. Why do you want to be on the radio? Make yourself at home. You've got plenty of time. Clever guy. Frisk me clean. Yeah. Thanks, Silk. So. Think that mouthpiece can spring you? Sure, they'll spring. 
You saw they didn't have anything on me up there. They got enough on me to throw the key away. Say, you know, I've been reading about you. Yeah? Yeah, you're the celebrated Stringer's Folly, huh? Sure. I get my name in the headlines once in a while. I've been hearing about you, too. I understand that you can take care of a right boy that's on the lamp. I figure you can do something. You know, I saw you again. Last night. You know where. Listen, Farley. Well, I'll do what I can for you. But it's hard to spring a federal prison like you are. That's okay, Lennox. Don't worry about me. These little babies will spring me. Pretty sure of yourself, aren't you? Yeah. And what's more, Lennox, the lock's not made that these can't open. Hey, Shrek, bring your key to the whistle. Ah, oh, you took long enough about it. So long, Farley. So long, Lennox. Yeah, you'll be needing a smoke. Thanks, Lennox. Hey, where have you been and what's the matter here, huh? Say, that's a great guy, that Lennox. Why, you're not sore, are you? You know, with a guy like that Farley, this job would be a cinch. Straight. Uh, but he's in jail with the use. Maybe such his idea. Blasting our way into the ball is all right. We're game. Sure. Oh, that's out of the question. The town's entirely too hot for anything like that right now. Well, we gotta do something. With that safe cracker in jail, what are we gonna do? Oh, it'll keep. You know that money's safe in the vault, then. Oh, boy. I'd give $5,000 if that folly was here. Thanks, Lenny. I can use 5000 just now. Drop it, sucker. You too, baby face. You want to sprout a set of wings? Let's see your hands, Lenny. Glad to see you, Farley. Shake. Thanks. I'll consider my hand shook. By the way, I haven't met these boys socially, have I? Oh, this is Lefty Sloan. Over here is Spike, and this is Dutch Fritz, and they're right boys, too, Farley. Glad to meet you, boys. <laughs> I see you're glad to see me, too. Oh. Yeah, we're tickled silly. Sure. Sure, we're glad to see you. Why, Farley, I've been trying to spring you. What for? Didn't I tell you I'd spring myself? You know, Farley, I could use a guy like you in this mob. How'd you like to work with it? I might. Why we don't know the guy? I know him, and I'll vouch for him. Well, I guess that's good enough for us. That better be good enough. Now, listen, boy. I think I can do a lot of good for you, too. Put that thing away, Farley. Come on over and have a drink. It's smooth, folks. Smooth as silk. Silk Lennox and his beautiful new Club Arabian where you can dine, dance, and be merry until the wee hours of the dawn. Introducing Frank. Tiny Frank Neiman and his boys with Bonnie and her boyfriends. Play it, Frank. Play it. Come on. Yeah. Useful. 
too. Oh, very useful. Hey, uh, over there in the kitchen and the back entrance. Uh -huh. Down here's the big shelf. If he unbuttons his mouth, he won't unbutton his mouth. We're gonna button it up tight. Bad boy, eh? Well, I don't know. I used him when I detailed that bank job. Yeah, and he turned yellow. Oh. I'm going down and get that record. Lefty, you show Polly the ways out of this place. Okay. gonna knock him dead. That great guy. You said it. You lied Jimmy into this mess, and I'm not going to let anything happen to him. Mm. Kind of soft for your corner, aren't you, baby? I pay you plenty, and I expect you to deliver. But don't you realize the G-men have taken over the town? Oh, you and your G-men. You make me sick. I think they had eyes in the back of their head. Well, they have. Mr. Lennox, you're wanted on the telephone. Oh, come on. I tell you, sir, there's nothing you can do with the government, man. Hello? Yes, this is Lennox. But I tell you, I just got it over the grapevine straight. The guy sprung himself, escaped. Ah, oh, they're burned up about it. I tell you, they'll tear the town wide open to find him. Now you'd better cover up, Silk, to make down your way. I'm always covered up, Kennedy. Yeah. Goodbye. Well, what will I do? Beat it! Gee, honey, that dance was swell. Miss Gus Shallow, Miss Gus Shallow, Miss Gus Shallow. Did you hear what he said? No. signal you uh, just keep on playing will you now remember men we'll take the front and back at the same time if our bird is there we'll nab him sure we'll nab him i'd like to see him get away from me The 
Monsieur. Monsieur. The Pashi Boo. The Nasa Sea. Kelly Boo. Hey, Boo, my lad. Your malady. What? Why? Hey, pal, what am I going to do? Listen, you just tell them that you're a marathon runner. Walking in the dark, happy as a lark, walking in the dark with you. Now everything is rosy, night is even cozy, walking oh, in the dark. Oh, good evening, Captain. Which Charlie? Lennox, where's Charlie? Charlie? Why, I left Charlie down in your cage. We'll find him if we have to turn this joint inside out. Boys, you take the upstairs. You two fellas search every corner down here and don't miss any. Oh, now, Inspector. You can't go do a thing like that when I'm just opening this place up tonight. There's nothing wrong. Cause I know that he's the Ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy Lambert has a little number for you.
Yeah, you got a couple of nice kids like that and a joint like this beats me. Well, Chief, he's not here. All right, let's beat it. You come off clean this time, Lennox, but watch your step. Goodbye, Inspector. Great work, Farley. Say, you had me fooled for a minute, and those policemen, I never saw anything so funny. <laughs> <laughs> the police! Why, it's just like taking milk from a baby, Lennox. Yeah. visit from the police tonight. Gee, are we gonna go get the dough? Sure. We can get over to the express office. Wrap the safe and be back here within an hour. Can't we? Less than that, if it's the type of safe you say it is. Why, it's a cinch. Oh. Hello, kid. Gee, your number was a knockout. Oh, dirty, rotten, chiseling crook. Well, what's the matter, kid? What do you mean treating Nola the way you did? Oh, that. Why, that was just a joke. Yeah. Well, so is this. You dirty little rat! Let him go! Jimmy! What are you doing here? I can never to taste him one. Don't you dare hurt him! I'm not gonna hurt him. I'm going to send him for a ride in the fresh air to cool him off. Oh, you wouldn't dare. I'll take that record right to the police. Oh, no, you won't, sister. <laughs> take him out, Polly. Sure. I just love Cronus. Come on. Yeah. You and I are going to be just like that, sister, until I get that record back. And you'll get your crooner back when I get the record. Well, here we are. Okay, Dutch. I'll take them. Suit yourself. See nothing to me. Sure. Coming into the mob new like this might set me in pretty good with silk. You're a good guy, Farley. Sure, you can take him. Come on. This is a jumping out place. I thought I heard someone. Yeah, the boys have got us covered. Oh, come on, Farley, make it snappy. Listen, 
I don't like the idea of this dame on the job with me. Oh, she won't bite you. I know she won't bite me, but I don't like the idea of a dame on the job with me. If anything starts in this joint, I hope she's got sense enough to fall on the floor and stay there, like I did. Open yet? Crossing rat! <laughs> well, Lenny, looks like you cheated the chair this time. <laughs> Get this dame out of here. Oh, but please, I didn't have anything to do with it. Take her out of here. Well, Lennox, I guess that finishes you. Marvelous. Really, I don't know what to say. Yes, Silk Lennox and his mob completely wiped out. I've certainly got to take my hat off to Eugene then. You can thank Ferguson here. Skip it. You said Jimmy was here. Where is he? Where? Gee, I'm so glad you're safe. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Farley. Boy, you certainly gave me a scare when you took me for a ride in that canyon. I'm sorry, Jimmy. It's part of the job. I still think you're a meanie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go outside. Come on. Well, Chief, where do I go from here? Ha, 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 ha,